Most extraordinary photos of the Old West. Have you ever wondered what frontier people do during the Old West era? Well, not to surprise you. Aside from mingling in the saloons, tending the cattle herd, look at these guys as they just actually captured a wolf. So the cowboys do this often to protect their livestock from getting attacked by wild beasts. And we've got a lot more Old West photos like this. Moreover, at the end of this video, you will discover an extraordinary photo that really captured how most frontier men dealt with the rough and tumble life in the Old West. Then, without further ado, let's begin. Rufus Buck Gang So right on the bat, we've got these infamous outlaw teens that perhaps never in their wildest dreams you would assume had committed some of the grimmest crimes in the Indian Territory. But don't get fooled by their innocent looks. As with the lead of Rufus, abused and ravaged women and kids. And worse, they often did their crimes while the family members of the victims were forced to watch. With all that brutality, as soon as these fellows got caught, they were hastily hanged on the gallows. Rose of Cimarron Unlike her breathtaking look, this gorgeous frontier woman had the tragic story and also a pellicular hobby. Well, she had a short career as an outlaw and she actually fell in love with one. It's just that with a twist of fate, his brothers, who were known as bounty hunters, were the very same people who gave her love story a bitter end as they killed her lover for the bounty. Los Diablos Tejanos Just with their name alone, most outlaws would shake in terror, as they were not called the Texan Devils for nothing. Yes, they were mostly underpaid, but they were thorough in implementing the law and always ruthless against outlaws. Serpent Charmers Most frontier people were fond of sideshows and carnivals. Even Buffalo Bill became famous for owning and showcasing his very own show, The Wild West Shows. And this photo showed one amazing performance that they enjoyed before. This charmer handles boas, rattlers, cobras, or all sorts of snakes, showing how they can make a wild beast benign. After a long walk, the Vaho tribe spotted elk. Sadly, when the wagon started moving to the west, they brought along the settlers, who began expanding westward this led to skirmishes with natives, such as the Navajo tribe, who got forced to walk away from their ancestral lands. This photo captured the trauma of the Navajo leaders during the long walk of Navajo. Not long after that, some natives, like the Lakota, took weapons, which even led to a confrontation with the federal government. This became known as the Wounded Knee Massacre where around 250 Lakota men, women, and children were killed, including the Lakota Sioux Chief, Spotted Elk. Undoubtedly, life was really hard on the frontier, both for settlers and natives, although some would perhaps say that the latter experienced way more hardships. Still, both fell victim to diseases, lack of food, lawlessness, and selfish schemes. However, despite all that, these enduring frontier people made ways to deal with the already hard life. And that's evident in this photo. Cowboy Dance In a way, it brought these people together, relieving some of their accumulated fatigue with their unending work. Well, of course, it's fun and it's free. You've discovered an extraordinary Old West photo collection. So now click this and discover Top 5 Wild West Gunslingers Animated by AI 